Hello guys, K here, and today I'm going to do another video. So it's the second video of the day, and basically we are doing a Saints Row 3 info video. So this info video is going to be about the Saints Row 3 characters. So yeah. Okay, basically we're gonna go through the characters, and yeah. Now the first character, it, from, these are the Saints characters by the way, we're not going to do the other gang's characters just yet because there's not enough information. Um, first one is the uh, the protagonist, which is basically you. So it's the main character of Saints Row and it doesn't actually have a given name because it's basically you. So it's referred to as the player, the kid and boss throughout the games and the MC standing for the main character, not Minecraft. So yeah there's it's basically a character and yeah that's basically it and now to the next character next character is johnny gat and he was in the previous saints rose which is like really awesome and he is making a return and um it's really awesome pretty much second f well yeah my favorite character not including yourself obviously so he's basically a brash hot-headed and also very trigger happy he is of Eastern Asian heritage and was a torrid on and off relationship with local R&B diva and her name was Aisha, so yeah, you've seen her in Saints Row 2. I'm not sure if she was in Saints Row 1 then. So, yeah. Anyway, that's basically about Johnny. You see his picture anyway, I'm showing you the pictures as we go along. Now we have Shandi and she featured in Saints Row 2 first. So, yeah, she joined the Saints after... You, the player, the protagonist, impressed her with some car jumps, and um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'd done before. And um, yeah, we later assign her to take down the sums of Samadhi by getting as much information of them as possible. So yeah, mainly because she has many ex-boyfriends that were in the gang, and that's how she done it. So yeah, she's um, taken hostage by other characters, and yeah, we have to go save her. You guys have seen all that shit, so. Yeah, excuse the swearing. Did not mean to do that, so yeah. Anyway, that's basically about Shandy. There's nothing really much that's interesting besides her full name Shandy. She's female. She's American. She lives in Stillwater, obviously, and her vehicle is the Voyager. And she's a, her occupation is drug trafficking and a TV host, so yeah. We have Pierce. He was in Saints Row 2, which is um, awesome. But he wasn't exactly my favourite character, but he was awesome. He was, um... Yeah, what did he do? He was, he joined the Saints after we convinced him by killing some Ronin members. We'd done that last episode. Well, last full episode. And we collected as much effort... Um... What did you collect? Um... They, I mean, information about... Ah, I forgot it was. He was, um... He's like a character that uses his brain rather than his power in most situations and he always wants to prove his worth to you the player so yeah and he wants more power especially for himself so yeah and now we have a new character Angel Dealer Muret I think that's how you pronounce it so he's a former luchador member of the Third Street Saints in wait, in his glory days he was once a tag team partner to the famous luchador wrestler and partner in crime and his Partner in crime's name was Kilbane. Soon after they formed a gang in Stillport called the Luchadors, made up of masked wrestlers who used heavy weapons and loved fistfights. As the gang grew larger, yeah, as the gang grew larger, Kilbane got angry and became angry. I mean, and became jealous of Angel's respect in the gang, therefore causing him to unmask Angel, causing him great shame. You know how pe when people get unmasked, they basically in shame so now angel is rarely seen in public and is found so less as member as a member in of the third straight scene scenes can't it i cannot read today so third street saints this is what happens when you have english for two hours to, in like in a day and you just do writing your brain is fried so here you can get revenge on the man that was once his best friend and helps the saints in taking down the luchadors so yeah uh, he was he's Mexican American and he's his occupation is a gangster slash wrestler so yeah and this guy this guy is absolutely beast Oleg Kurlov and oh my gosh in the trailer he was amazing so yeah his um he's it's like he's 
featuring in Saints of the Third because he wasn't in any other ones. He is um, basically a full-time gank because that's his occupation. According to the Game Informer, which isn't... Oh, this is what's happened. Well, this is what they've said to us, the, like, public. Um, Oleg is a giant member of the Saints who is over eight, fo eight feet tall and can toss cards as if they were made of styrofoam and doesn't mind a game of chess from now and then. Okay, that is very weird. In the CG trailer... He is seen to displaying his immense strength with a Morning Star member trying to subdue him by hanging on his back whilst he is kicking another one into the rooftop swimming pool. He then throws the man off the building into a stag jet. So, yeah. Um, the stag, I think I've mentioned them. They're basically uh, anti-gang. I forgot what it was. It stood for, but yeah. I can get the name up for you. It is stag, stag, stag. Uh, no, I think I closed it. But yeah, he was captured by the syndicate who um, sought his immense strength and knowledge and began to create an army by cloning him. So they cloned him. Okay. His clones are unintelligent, though, very much unlike him. These clones are distributed to the luchadors, the Deckers, and the Morning Star, who serve as a cheap muscle to them. So he was cloned and he was like sold to the luchadors, the Deckers, and Morning Star as cheap muscle. And he looks really big in that picture. There's a picture here, but actually he is massive. He looks more massive in game. It's not. It just looks. It looks a bit fake, but you know. And then there's Kenzie Kensington. So Agent Kenzie Kensington initially appeared in the CG Power trailer that debuted at E3 2011, but was not named until lead writer Steve Steve Jaros did a developer commentary over the tra uh, trailer a month later. Not much of a backstory has been given at this point, but from the trailer, she appears to be unfazed by gunfire. Kinsey, I don't know if that's her name, Kensington, also has a wide range of technical skills, as was displayed in the Decker's Die trailer. She was also displayed as being a computer genius capable of broadcasting to the pro uh, protagonist, which is you, your subconscious into the Decker Usernet, in order for the, pro um, the protagonist, you again, to battle with Macmillan. You basically, it's like some Tron thing here, you basically battle someone within Tron in this game. They're doing everything in this game. So she used to be like an FBI thing um, worker and now she's like with the Saints which is awesome. So yeah. This isn't exactly confirmed but she's wearing her FBI jacket so you know. And now there's Zimos. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He looks like uh, I don't know what time period it is. Not the 90s, 80s, one of them. 70s, 80s, 90s, definitely maybe even the 60s. I don't even know. But yeah, um, Zimos, he is male, lives in Stillport, and he's affiliates with the Syndicate and the Saints, and he is a pimp, a P-I-M-P. -P. He's had a, um, I don't know how to pronounce, I don't want to pronounce that wrong, but anyway, let um, me read this. He speaks using an electronic voice box, which has been auto-tuned. His clothing, particularly his purple hat and purple undershirt, indicate he's a member of the Third Street Saints. Steve Jarrett, a lead writer of Saints of the Third, explained he is too well to care as he, as he has a lot of swagger. Pretty much he's seen it all. He has done it all. He's too cool to be scared or offended. Looks like it's going to be amazing doing missions with this guy. I can just imagine he's like the one to go and like run and gun. Kind of like Johnny Gat. Okay, and then we have Josh but I don't know why it reminds me of Zac Efron, but like a ten times cooler version, because Zac Efron's like kind of dead. But yeah, anyway, he's not dead, but you know. Um, Burke is well known for his role as Nightblade, a TV show about a vampire hunter, yeah, hunter turned vampire who is haunted by the organization he once worked for. See, he had to be an actor, so yeah. Uh, he's basically. Uh, American, and he's part of the Third Street Saints, and he's an actor, so, you know, pretty much, there's not much information on him, so, yeah. And he was one of the people that helped rob the bank dressed as Johnny Gat, which was amazing. So, I don't really know why they have to rob the bank, even though they're at the top, but, you know, it's Saints, you do stuff, and it's amazing. So, that was the first video, there's going to be more information videos to come, this is my hundred, well, it was kind of my hundred video, but I'm saving an awesome video for next week, which, I'm still going to do the service at some point, but this awesome video next week is going to be amazing. So, yeah, it's not something you'd normally expect from me, but, I'm just putting it out there, I really shouldn't have told you that, but, yeah, there you go, it's a little sneak peek. So, I shall speak to you guys later.